So first of all, let's look at FPS or frames per second and understand what does that actually mean? There's something really important you need to understand. It's called frames per second. Let's say we looked at a normal film. Well, this is shot at 24 frames per second. This means that for every second, the camera took 24 photographs. In stop motion, we need to take each one of those 24 frames and we need to move our character individually between each frame. If I take the animation that I have done and change the FPS to 24, it becomes very fast. If I change it to say 3 FPS, it becomes very slow and you can see each individual shot. So let's try it at about 8 FPS. Yeah, that works okay. Now, when you want to get your FPS on your phone as opposed to a tablet, it's slightly different. But when you open up front, uh, Stop Motion Studios and start a new project, you just look for the uh, icon. It's at the bottom left. You tap on that. And again, there's your, fo your frames per second that you can set. Now here at the BrickFix Academy, we usually set our FPS to about 10 or 12. Um, you can always start at eight if you like and build your way up. And of course, as you build on your skills, you can increase your FPS. Just remember, the higher the FPS, the more photographs you're gonna to need to take.